evolutionists claim that the Earth and the universe are billions and billions of years old. The Bible claims that the Earth was created 6,000 years ago. Well, let's see which one is telling the truth. One of the single strongest arguments for a young Earth is the decay of the Earth's magnetic field. As you see here, the Earth has a magnetic field, which is critically important to our lives. And we have been able to measure the decay, the weakening, the shrinking of the Earth's magnetic field for 200 years. Based on solid scientific data, we know that the Earth's magnetic field shrinks, weakens, decays by 50% every 1,400 years. And that means that if we go forward in time, only a mere 2,000 years, no life would exist on Earth. Simply because when the Earth's magnetic field goes to zero, the deadly radiation coming from the sun would irradiate all life on Earth. God created the magnetic field to protect us from this deadly radiation, among other things. But if we go back in time, we have a similar problem. If we go back in time, only a mere 10,000 years, the Earth's magnetic field would be 200 times stronger than today. It would kill all life on Earth. So we are living in a very narrow band of time. God never intended the Earth to last for a long time once it became imperfect. And so the Earth cannot even be 10,000 years old, but that is perfectly consistent with the creation 6,000 years ago. And so the decay of the Earth's magnetic field is one of the single strongest arguments for young Earth of 300 scientific arguments. It limits the age of the Earth to less than 10,000 years old, con totally consistent with what the Bible teaches us. That evolutionists cannot be telling us the truth when they say it is millions and millions of years old. It is simply impossible. There has not been enough time for evolution. The Earth is only 6,000 years old.